What up, though? Heist Man the Foe. Talk that talk, ghetto news and opinions, man. Big shout out to the 85 South Show. Carlos Miller, Chico Bean, DC Young Fly. They got their Netflix special. The 85 South Show, ghetto legend. Big shout out to these brothers, man. Hard work pays off. Everybody been waiting on this, man. Um, I think a lot of people think that getting a Netflix special is the all be all, you know, the, the goal. Like, we just want to get it to the masses, man. So big shout out, you know, for them getting on Netflix. I tell everybody go out and get their app too. Hold on, let's see. They got the app, Channel Eighty Five, in um in the trap, all kind of stuff in there, man. Go check this out, man. It's on Roku. It's on all your TVs, man. So get the app, you know, because it's a lot of hands in the pot. You know, Netflix did it. I think d directed by Stan Latham. You know, so get the app because we know that's all one hundred percent to the 85 let's stay app, you know so big shout out to them for that but um cop the app to get all the stuff you know get it first but i'm saying how i first got on to it though was the 85 south show i mean you know, i'm gonna do a little review about this about the um the ghetto ledges but um how i first got on to them was um this episode of the 85 south show um they explained the uh, azalea banks thing you know on wilding out the truth about her you know and I ain't gonna lie, when I when I seen this, I was like, oh yeah, it's up, it's up for wildin' out, because these dudes on wildin' out. So me seeing them on wildin' out, and seeing them on they, you know, their own channel on their YouTube, it was it was different. It was like, oh, I can't watch wildin' out no more. It it ain't the same, you know. You got these three dudes over here killing it on stage over here. Then it's kind of it's kind of watered down because they can't do and say what they want to say on. With Viacom, VH1, MTV, whatever, um, Wild and Out on. No disrespect, but you know, after after seeing you know seeing them on on stage together, because I thought it was like a dope concept. Um, when they first started, it was like they all did they the you know they little set one by one, you know one two three. Then they come together. And I ain't never seen three dudes on stage killing it. So when they changed the format, all three of them come out, boom, shooting me right, and just start getting it, you know. So I, I, I was feeling that. So that's why I quit even watching Wildin' Out, man. No disrespect, but I was seeing my dudes do their thing and get on here and, you know, just, uh, you know. So big shout out to them, man. That's why my logo looked the way it looked, man, because of them. The 85 South Show. But we got to talk about this Netflix special, man. Big shout out to them. They finally got one. Got to talk about the pros of it, man. First of all, I love seeing this right here. Look how Marvin looking at you. He made it to Netflix. That was dope. I was love that, man. To my... Like, when you go to an 85 South show, you already know what to expect. Um, pandemonium, madness. And it was like, you're going to get it. It's, it's certain things you're going to get. You're going to get them interacting with the crowd. You're going to get them, you know, just roasting, telling stories. Just, you know, y'all know the 80, hmm, excuse me. Y'all know the 85 South show, man. Uh, what else is dope, man? Like, have, seeing J.O.N. up there. Hey, that was dope, man. Seeing the uh, saxophone player. They even got a girl doing it now. Um, what do you call that? The violin. You know, that was dope. It was a lot of dope stuff in there, man. The comedy was dope. Um, I got some cons, too, man, I want to talk about, man. Because I ain't going to say I had more cons than pros, but I kind of had more cons than pros. So we got to talk about them, too, man. I love this ending flick, though. They take the picture right here. But I'm saying I got to get into the little cons, man. The cons for me, real talk, was the location and the crowd. That was I ain't like that, man. I ain't like the location. Um, one thing about the '85 South show is, to me, I think they had their best performances when they in the South. Okay, so when they go up north, they you know they be getting it in, but in the South, it seemed like them little small southern cities, they be killing it. Nashville, Birmingham, Charleston, you know. Even um, the Midwest, but it seems like when they go up east and when they go to the West Coast, uh, you know, I, I think they in touch with the crowd more in the South. So I ain't like they they did they special in the South, man. Not 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 necessarily the South, but because I just gave all the praise to the South, but they did it in Atlanta, you see. And it seemed like the Atlanta crowd, it was like, because uh, the crowd was dead, man, to me. That's how I seen it. It was like. I don't know, man. I ain't like that crowd. I ain't like the location. I ain't like them doing it in Atlanta because I feel like they was too tangible. You know what I mean? It seemed like 
He was a friends and family. There's a lot of stuff I ain't like, man. Oh, I don't want to be that guy. I don't want to be that guy, but I got to be that guy. I ain't like how ain't nobody had no smoke for my mans and them. You know, he was, I, I'm at home, where the smoke at? You know, somebody throw him a little, throw him a blunt up there. But, you know, you know they ain't take, they ain't smoking nobody over here. Come on, man. But the stuff like that, man, got to me. I was like, come on, man. I ain't going to say the, um, it, it was kind of short, too. You can see it was edited and stuff. Um, let me get to the pro. I like seeing Rich Homie Quan come out there. I like seeing the Goody Mob come out there do their thing. But I, don't, I think the show was short. I, I kind of say it was kind of some rehashed material. Not, not, not. They ain't say nothing. They ain't never said before. But they kind of, you know, led on the topics like, I don't know, man. Like having an old daddy and stuff. Like I'll put it like this: If this is your first time seeing. The 85 South Show, it's a 10. But if you're an 85 percenter, it's a 6. I, I got to give it a 6. I love uh, DC said, uh, it's meat with eyes. When you talk about the sardines. Mm, another thing I ain't like, I ain't really like them going in on each other. You don't really see that that much. They might slip a few of them in, a few of them in. And, you know, but they really went in on each other. Like, they had like a whole set of them going in on each other. Not necessarily going in, but just roasting each other. They ain't really roast the crowd like they're supposed to. Not, I ain't gonna say supposed to. I'm just saying what we used to. They ain't really roast the crowd like that. They definitely didn't jump off in the audience and start getting to everybody. It's a few things like that. It was like, it was a light show to me. Like I said, it's your first time seeing it. They did. They covered all the bases. You know, I ain't, oh, titties in the building. I don't know, man. I feel like this is like watching the 85 South show on MTV. It's kind of like watching, watching them on Wild and Out. It was like they just wouldn't, you know, they didn't really go hard. And, and, I, and, I, and I attribute that to them being in Atlanta, being around, this they people. It's like they, they, I don't know, man. I see them do shows in Atlanta and around the Atlanta area, you know, but mm, it just what it just didn't hit the same. I'm proud of them. I'm proud to see, to see them make it. You know, they already made it, but to get that Netflix special, you know, and that's something that everybody won't. I think Monique was fighting for a Netflix special for years and years to come. Um, and it, I got more, I got more cons to this show. And, I, you know, then I have pros just because like, I gave it a six on the, like the comedy is comedy. Like they gonna make you laugh. I, I they had moments in there like I, the, the 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 stuff I haven't heard before, or around the area. The element, y'all know what I mean, man. Real eighty five percent is gonna feel me, man. Um, on this, y'all got to because it's real, and and I've been watching this for so long, man. It was like I'm glad they got it. I'm glad the, the world get to see what they can do, what they did. But I know, man. I feel like I, I, I don't feel like a hater. I'm, I might be coming off as a hater right now. I ain't gonna say I had high expectations because I watch them all the time. I know what they can do. So when I seen it, it was just happy, man. I'm talking. About, I'm, I'm, I looked at the whole thing. Look at the credits. I get to see Joe and name roll down the credits. Like, oh ah, yeah, big shout out to him, man. He on Netflix, you know. Um, what who they didn't have, man? They ain't had Cat. I don't think I heard Cat introducing them. I think somebody else was. Doing the leading charge, you know, bringing them out. This is a few things, but it had a, it had a whole lot of elements of them, man. But it seemed like the Netflix special. It was an hour special. I say they did maybe thirty minutes. <coughs> maybe they did thirty minutes, you know, of of comedy. You know, they had the songs, the performances, and stuff. They sung the song at the end. The J E S E S J U S Jesus song. You know, they did that. But they ain't really, they ain't really go all the way in. They ain't go fully in, you know. Um, it was a diet show, light show. It was light. It was diet comedy, diet, eighty five South show. It was light. It was kind of light. I ain't gonna front, man. It's kind of light. I loved it. I'm gonna watch it again. Oh, this, uh, all this is our first watch. Also, I watched it and just these are all my thoughts. I watched it three o'clock in the morning when it came out. It's about six o'clock now. Um, in the afternoon on a Tuesday or evening, y'all know what I mean, man. 
We have fun over there, though, man. Y'all check me out sometime, man, on this channel. I go live every Friday at 9 p.m. But in the meantime, check out um anything I got on this channel, man. Check out the 85 South Show. Go check out the 85 South Ghetto Legends on Netflix. Go check that out. Go get they app. Check that out. Um, Run them numbers up, man. Go watch Wildin' Out, too, because they on that, too. I just can't watch it like that no more, man. Being honest now. Um... Damn, man, it was a lot about that show, man. Like I said, the location and the crowd. Oh my! I'll like, tell you, the crowd. They, mm, the crowd. They was in it, but you know, it seemed like cause it's basically like they knew the material, or they knew they was going at it. Like they started talking about DC old daddy when he said um, he had a grandbrother. We we kind of knew that was coming, you know. You see, like it was a lot of it was kind of. A lot of rehashed material. Not a lot, but enough of it. Stuff going around. It was like, man, I can... They could have just put... Nah, they had to do that. I about to say, they could have just put one of their shows up there. It wasn't long enough. We didn't get to feel it. Pause. Ugh. What long enough we get to feel it. <laughs> That's nasty work right now. Y'all know what I mean, though, man. I'm gonna smoke a cigarette some water. I had fun with it though, man. I'm gonna keep having fun, man. I just want everybody to go out there and watch that, man. I want the boys to get that support, man. Um, I like the little tribute they had at the end for DC's wife, girlfriend, partner. The little picture, you know. Um, I don't know, man. It just it didn't feel like a, it didn't feel like a Chad Oubre production to me. They said it was Stan Latham and this Netflix and you know. So I, I got to support because of that, but, yo, I, mm. anyway, man, like I said, I will be going live on this channel Friday, talking about stuff just like this, y'all got to come through and holler at me, man, hit that like button, the comment button, the share button, the subscribe button, the notification bell, all them good buttons you got to hit to get this pimping that I'm putting out when I put it out. All right, this time, but I'll be back, and sooner than you think. Wherever there's prejudice, ignorance, inequality, I'll be there.